Hey guys, I just got this shipment in, so let's just get started. Now the iPhone does come in in that box because it was shipped in. However, it does come in here with just a plastic wrap around it. And the information like serial number and all that stuff would be on the back of the iPhone. We're just gonna open this up. And let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see how this looks like. And here we go. Now don't expect too many things in this unboxing because there isn't that much. But we can have a good look at the actual color. So we can appreciate this color and I do like this a lot more than the Pacific Blue that I have from my other iPhone. So make sure to check that video out so you guys can see the difference between these colors. And this one I like. It's pretty nice and sleek. But before we keep going with this, let's just put it on the side and looks what inside the box. Inside the box we just have our cable. It's a pretty standard cable. This is USB-C and our regular cable, lightning cable. So would you be able to plug this into your old charger? Uh, no, you won't. You won't be able to plug this into your old charger. And no, these iPhones no longer come with chargers or headsets like they used to before. However, inside here we still get this stuff plus usually we would get, oh yeah, here's the sticker. <laughs> so a lot of people like this sticker and that's what we get plus this, which we really need in order to get our SIM card inside the iPhone. So that's the only significant thing that I would say, keep it on the side so you guys can use that. Other than that, it's just manuals. So let's just place that back. But that's it, that's all we get inside the box. There isn't anything more. So right now, what you guys see right here is everything you would get inside the box. Anyways, let's just put the box on the side. The screen itself, we're gonna see this. There we go. Now before there used to be a wrap around the whole entire phone or just on top of the screen. Now they changed that a little bit. And let's take a look at all the basics. So on the bottom, we're just gonna see our charging port speakers. As we turn to the side, we're just gonna see volume. And then right here, we have this in order to make our iPhone vibrate. Turn that on and off. And let's not forget down here, it's to put in our SIM card. I can tell you right away, because of this chrome around it, this gets smudges on it really, really easy. Now let's keep looking around the iPhone itself. There's nothing on the top. And on this side, we're gonna see the power key, or we can also access Siri by pressing that key right there. So that would be all the way around the iPhone itself. Now before we keep going, I do wanna mention to check out the review plus the setup video and manual for this iPhone if you guys want to see it in action. Other than that, this is a really quick unboxing video so you guys can take a look at the color and how it looks like. But the review itself is where you see this in action plus the setup video as well and manual. You can see this actually working how it should. Now let's take a look at the top. You can see the lenses right there. It's a really good close up of them. Now if you're wondering about the finish, now this is a matte finish. So I don't get that many smudges on it, not at all. However, this is a chrome finish on the sides, so you can't get smudges extremely easy on the sides because of that chrome. However, I can tell you that I am digging this iPhone and it looks pretty sleek. I like the color. For sure, I will be doing one more video on an iPhone Pro Max with this color, just so you guys can see how this color looks on iPhone Pro Max, which is actually the exact same thing. But uh, it's just in case, because I already have a Pacific Blue video on iPhone Pro Max, and this is an iPhone 12 Pro. So most likely, if you're looking at this video, you just want to see the color, I can tell you right away, it's just a darkish gray. And on the sides, we have this chrome, which looks pretty good. I just don't like getting smudges all over it. But hey, at the end of the day, I am going to put a case over it. However, if you're waiting for your new iPhone to get to you, I would just look under the light to see if there's any scratches on it. On two iPhones that I ordered from before, there were slight scratches on the sides. They were very, very minimal, but they were scratches. So I would say just look at it with the light and make sure there's no scratches. Like here, I don't see any scratches at all, not even minimal scratches, which is great. Would those scratches get in the way of the functionality of the iPhone? No, They're, they were very minimal. You guys can see that in my other videos, but they were really nothing. But anyways, this is how the iPhone looks like. Now, yes, it definitely does suck that Apple doesn't send out chargers or even a really small headset with these new iPhones. 
but hey, we can at least charge it up with our computers or any other chargers that might have USB-C. Hopefully that's something that Apple will change in the future. However, that's an unlikely scenario. Anyways guys, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.